Hey, what is going on, YouTube fam? If you guys don't know who Sam Sullick is, he's that big-time bodybuilder dude that's, like, taking over social media, taking a page out of Sam Sullick's book, hang the mic on the hat. Too easy, right? Um, so today I want to talk to you really quick about this. This is the commercial-grade Ego Backpack Blower, um, and... There seems to be a little bit of controversy going on with the batteries. So I wanted to talk to you about my personal experience that I've had and kind of make this like a review. Um, I've had this now for some time. I've used it all summer long. It's the only blower I used I'm on my property and on my roof. I use it to clean out my gutters. Um, I use it to blow down the, the downspouts of my gutters. Um, I used it for the pine needles in my backyard to make piles and then burn it. Um, leaves i'll use it i'll show you guys back in my gym i'll show you guys blowing off some leaves that's on the wood there this thing has a lot of power a lot of power uh it's like 190 uh mile per hour wind 800 uh cfms i think if i'm saying that right i don't exactly remember but the problem that people are having is uh, oh the model is the uh it says it right here lbpx 8000 so i know it's true because it says it right there so the problems that people seem to be having is their batteries and they're saying that the batteries and sometimes will turn off a little bit sooner than expected. And that could be annoying. Um, this is a big burly beast. Okay. And if you use, and I'll show you guys up close, if you use the um, turbo, you're really putting a lot of power. You're really drawing a lot of amperage from the batteries and the batteries are going to suck down fairly quick. However, you have battery options. So if you use, say, one of these um, smaller Ego 2.5 amp hour 56 volt batteries that you usually will find for like the weed eaters, the hedge trimmers and stuff like that, it's pretty small, pretty light, pretty small. Um, you also can get these with the 5 amp hour batteries for a total of 10 amp hour um, because they're not wired in series to make it, you know, like this is uh, 27 or 28 volts and, and then the other battery is 27 or 28 volts and you wire them in series and then that doubles the voltage but doesn't double the amperage. These are running in parallel. So if you put this two and a half amp hour here and then another two and a half amp hour here, you have a total of five amp hours, 56 volts, okay? So you can get this blower from like say Ace Hardware right now uh, it takes about a week for it to arrive. They're hard to keep in stock. Um, and you, good luck trying to find them on Amazon. But you can get this blower, but with the 5 amp hour batteries, for 700 bucks. And uh, I think that was free shipping. I don't remember. Um, this, what I have, I have the 10 amp hour battery. All right, so I have a 10 and a 10. So, I mean, look at the difference between a two and a half and a 10, right? So, I mean, it's a, it's a burly difference of size. And this is gonna run down fairly quick. If you're gonna get this, I would highly suggest you try to get it with no batteries, okay? Just get the machine, no batteries, and then order the batteries and the charger later and try to get two 10 amp hours with the dual charger. Now, you might be able to find it like that. That's how I got this one. Ego sent me this one, actually, for review for free, and it came with the 10-amp-hour battery. So I was lucky there. But you can see you got one and two. Okay, and they lock in really nice. Um, and then this is the 2.5-amp-hour battery, okay? Now, let me show you something. It's a whole lot of money to get these batteries, right? And then if you're running the Ego system already, you're already buying equipment with batteries, and it's like, God, that's a lot of money, man. It's probably like three or $400 worth of batteries right here, okay? But if you buy your equipment, say your weed eater and your hedge trimmer and all those other pieces of equipment um, without batteries and without chargers, and you invest into the two 10-amp-hour batteries, then you can... Use them on your smaller machines. So it'll save you 40 bucks here, 40 bucks there, without getting batteries and chargers on your smaller machines. Now, this does make it a little bit heavier, 
But I mean, come on, look at me. I'm not Sam Sullick over here. I can still do it. I can still, you know, trim hedges like this. If you're trying to do this commercial all day long, I don't know if you're going to use electric equipment, but if you're trimming up your home or you got a lake house or you got an RV somewhere and you want to keep battery powered tools uh, over there so you don't have to have gas, you don't have to worry about fuel and stable and all that stuff, then batteries are a great choice. Ego is an amazing brand. And so to get around the problem that people are having with their five amp hour batteries for a total of 10 amp hour dying after like 35, 40 minutes of use, you get the 10 amp hour batteries with the dual charger. And now you got 20 amp hours. It's pretty amazing. And you can use them on other pieces of equipment, other ego pieces of equipment. So it's just something to think about. I tell you, I absolutely love this machine. I put it on my back, I climb the roof, the ladder's still set up, I climb my roof, I blow off the pine needles off my roof, because my roof is new, it's only like three and a half, four years old. I blow the pine needles and all the leaves and crap like that off my roof. I shove it down the gutters and blow the gutters out every couple of months because of the trees, the pine needles and all that stuff. And um, yeah, it really does make a huge difference. Um, I wonder if that's one of those screen protectors that I never took off. I bet this has one of them screen protectors on there and I never took it off. Yep, it sure does. I wonder why it's hard to read. What a goofball. Okay. Let me see something. Oh yeah, look at that. I had a screen protector on this whole time and I didn't even know. What a dummy. Anyways, let me throw this thing on real quick and I'll show you, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not super light, okay? It's got, here. It's got really heavy duty, heavy padded, shoulder pads which are very comfortable okay it does come with a waist strap if you want so you can take it and strap it around your waist so you have a little bit more stability if you're moving around but i never use stuff like that normally i would probably just cut this off i just haven't um i would just get rid of it you can unbolt it or cut it off or whatever they got little hex bolts right here you can get rid of that if you want uh you got an adjustable handle so you can move this around as you you know see fit um, you got the little turbo nozzle at the end there that kind of directs it down to a point so you get a better pinpoint accuracy um, so that's really nice and the way it works is this is your power okay this is this is your your engine right here your your not an engine but you know your battery power this is your power right here and it sends it to the motor that's in here and it works kind of like uh, the way a uh, turbine works. You got the in the fan in there, and there might even be two impellers in there. I'm not sure. Mm, can't really see. But your fan is in here. Your electric fan is in here, and it pulls it in uh, right here. It's not pulling from you know anywhere here, sucking your clothes in or anything like that. It's all pulling from right here and shoots it right out, and it is unbelievable. The um, functions. Now what? It's not super light. I'm just, I'm not lying. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's it's got some weight to it. But that's it. And it's on and it's about as heavy as a commercial grade backpack blower. It's about the same size when it's on your back for like clearance if you're doing front porches and you know, you're in a tight area and you're trying to work, you know. Um, you can still, you can still work, but let me show you the controls real quick. I probably am not going to be able to talk because it's going to be loud with the mic right here. But if you look right here, that turn, or this is your trigger to get it to blow right here. Okay. This is your lock. So you don't have to hold the trigger. You can just lock it. And then this is turbo. And if you are locked and you hit turbo, it stays on turbo. If you're not locked, you can just hold the trigger and turbo as you need it. So here's power. Lock, turbo, no turbo, unlock, or you can just trigger, or you can trigger, Now, I don't know if you could see, but it, it's, it's making me move. It's got that much power. 
So, yeah, it's really neat. Let's go blow off the gym. Okay, so this is our backyard gym. Me and my boys, my boys play football. And um, they're both actually starting linemen. Uh, so, uh, we do a lot of working out here together. I do a lot of athletic training with them, but here we go. I love this thing. getting close we're gonna to have to trim up this bamboo again and guess what we're gonna use the ego 56 volt hedge trimmer So like I said, this blower at Ace is like $6.99. I think that includes shipping, but that's with dual five amp hour batteries. This is dual 10 amp hour batteries. You gotta figure that's probably gonna be an additional 150, 200 bucks. Uh, but world of difference as far as I am concerned for um, the, the, the life of the batteries being able to get the job done. I never had an issue with not being able to um, finish my job, finish my house. And that would be blowing off the whole back porch with pine needles. Um, you guys saw a little bit of the pressure wash video, maybe from this weekend, episode one, how to start your business and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I could blow off this entire yard and blow it all toward the fence and then rake it up into a pile and then burn it. Cause you know, pine needle kind of smolders. Uh, and just let it burn all day and throw dog shit and stuff like that in the pile and have some fun. But um, yeah, I mean, this thing's amazing. So it's the Ego 56 volt, uh, what is it, LPBX or something like that, 8,000. Uh, it's an unbelievable, yeah, 800 CFM. It's an unbelievable uh, blower. Highly recommend it. If you can afford it, it is probably the last backpack blower you'll ever buy. And if anything happens to it, you'll probably go buy another one. It's that good. It's that amazing. Um, I love it. In fact, I love it so much. I gave my father-in-law who side hustles. Um, I gave my father-in-law my steel BG 50 or 55 or whatever the heck it is. I gave it to him uh, a while back for Father's Day. He needed a blower. I was like, here, just take this. I don't even use it anymore. So because I got this. 
All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you hanging out with me today and getting a little clarification on the batteries. And looking forward to seeing you guys uh, real soon. Probably um, on the next one. <laughs>